Hi and welcome to episode number 645 with whatsforchild.com. Tenderizing steak with the meat mallet is probably the easiest way to tenderize steak. It certainly beats using enzymes and chemicals which at best produce inconsistent results. Almost every kitchen has a meat mallet, most of which have never been used. The reason for this is that no one has ever showed you how to use it. How hard do you hit? How long do you hit? Do you season the meat before or after tenderizing? Will the steak still look good if you beat the daylights out of it? These are all questions that this video will answer today. For this demonstration I am using sirloin steaks. The sirloin is an average cut that is certainly not revered for being tender in the way that tenderloin is. We are going to season the meat before the tenderizing process. For the purpose of keeping things simple, I am only going to use salt and cracked black pepper. Whatever you decide to use, if it contains salt, then you have to add one extra ingredient, and that is sugar. Salt toughens meat, especially if the meat in question is going to stand for anything longer than a few minutes before cooking it. The sugar counteracts the toughening effect of the salt. With two added bonuses, it also gives a wonderful crispy edge crust to the meat when it is cooked and results in a rich deep flavor. Once you have seasoned both sides of the steaks, fold them in bread film or cling wrap and start with the tenderizing. This is where a bit of finesse comes in. You want to hit the meat medium to hard, certainly not hard enough to make holes in it but hard enough to start flattening the meat out. This process breaks down the connective tissue in the flesh of the meat, resulting in a more tender steak. You also want to bash the flat cap as well, as this is attached to the meat with the same connective tissue. Continue with the tenderizing until everything is uniform and the resulting steak is around half the thickness of the original. Now you're probably saying to yourself, this is never going to look like the steak I started with when it's cooked. All I can say is hang around until the end of the video when you see just how good it looks. To cook the steaks I've added two tablespoons of butter and a dash of oil to my pan. The pan is heated to 210 Celsius. You'll see a time lapse of the steak cooking where it will become clear how the tenderized steaks return to their original shape when cooked, but without the nasty tough connective tissue. Here we go. These are only going to grill for two minutes per side. Here the steaks are a few seconds from coming out of the pan. Here is an overlay of the steaks that went into the pan, compared with the same steaks four minutes later. They have returned to almost exactly the same size and shape they were in before they were tenderized, and without any tool marks. Allow the steaks to rest for two minutes before serving. That's it for today folks, please like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you again real soon.